Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my The Outer Worlds uh, Let's Plays, and today in this episode, we're gonna do the Salvager in the Sky quest. Uh, do remember that we're playing on Supernova, so uh, let's go. And this time, I'm gonna take somebody else with me. Not him. We'll take Felix. Let's see how that's gonna work out. Continue. <clears throat> he should have increased my dialogue. Let's, by the way, check. Check it. Skills. Yeah, look at that. Persuasion 85. Let's go. So, so they increased pretty good. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Where are we going? Where is that going to take us? By the way, there is a whole bunch of people here too, which we haven't tried to talk with, but we're going to do that later. We found a few quests, so I should be happy about that. Water? No water. Man, 220 credits, jeez. I think I should not... Uh... Perfect. Oh, it's taking us to this person right here. I think it's also part of the main quest as well. Hello. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? <laughs> Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven, just like store bought. The semi, he said, you could tell me. Uh, trade. I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. Ooh, look at that, man! What's up with that? A cool pistol, but man, look, and I'm locked out from all of this juicy loot. Range weapon. N ray. What is that N ray? I also have an N ray. Mag power. Plasma. Damn, I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have sold all those mods that I found. Idiot. I didn't expect this would be so freaking cool. If you're here. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, don't tell me if there's a fish on board seal. So can I buy it from you? Depends. What are you planning to do with it? You got a good heart wanting to do this for him. Frankly, I'm tired of Udom's whining. Don't kill me, please. And I'll pay, I swear. The man's been messaging me four or five times a day. How's a woman supposed to read her new missives when her incoming folder's all cluttered? Uh, Eight thousand bits! Oh. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Really <laughs> continue? Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker. As well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Say no more, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. <laughs> should have come to you in the SOS first place. With the coordinates. Is she ready to pay a thousand bids, a man? <laughs> Might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corps fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. 
Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. <laughs> How sweet. I still gotta talk with her. Gracious. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. More opportunities? <laughs> Let's go! Yes, dearie? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. What the hell? Oh, stolen ones. You will need to purchase Navki. Ah, you cockroach, man. Okay. Then in that case, let's do the distress signal. Oh, I can just fast fast travel. Oh no. Where is that sending me to? This is Halcyon News. Yeah, it is sending me back to the ship. Whew. Ah, your face is a sight for a sore ocular. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? <clears throat> yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Captain, what would you like to hear? <laughs> Make a joke. My violence inhibitors are a joke. No, really. I only keep them enabled because of how funny they are. Sing a song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. <laughs> now that was a joke. <laughs> Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Oh. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Mm hmm. Terra 2. Oops. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Oh, two different. Maybe let's go kill those gorillas? Yeah, let's go kill gorillas. There's a pretty decent uh, light machine gun. I was thinking, what if I turned that light machine gun into plasma bullets? I think I still have one more mag update for that. So the other guy will have a pretty decent gun as well. Uh, where the hell are we? Oh, bro, we drop right away here. Cool. All right, let's buy more water. Is that a bad Wait, what?
course. It's not the best time! Go try kill those gorillas, man. The one that killed me, that made me suffer. We gotta give some payback. Maybe we got some cockroaches also. Uh, yeah, look at that. Hello, hello. Some bad boys back in business. Oh, bro! Oh, man, they fit good together! <laughs> oh my god, they nailed these guys real fast. Hunting rifle. Oh, so it looks like the loot resetted in this area. Hmm. Coolio. Yeah, but they don't give much XP though. Previously that was a good amount of XP, and now it's bad. Take the loot. <laughs> am I even going the right way? I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, damn it. I went a little bit the wrong way but at least I know where the hell I am and this is where we gotta go there's those m stupid monkeys man ow These two are crazy beasts, man. Bro, this gun is epic! Woohoo! Even I'm doing damage, man. See that? That is insane. I became OP myself with this shoddy, man. Maybe I should give the shoddy to my companion. There you go. Look at that. Welcome home. And uh, where it is? There we go. Shoof.
Oh, it also staggers them. <laughs> I love it, man. It's like super easy. Well, we got what we came here for. Let's go back to my ship. <laughs> I wonder, can I make it into a... Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. Uh, tinker... Oh no, wait, modify. No, it looks like I cannot modify this weapon. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, so there we go. Two slots, two slots. That's... Okay, now I know how the modification works. Okay, it looks like I can modify this thing right here into something even better. Interesting. I assure you, I am not. Uh, breakdown then. I can break down this. Are you serious? Capable of such emotional capacity. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Good. Damn it. Oh wait, we could use some food too. Let's eat that candy. The one that, that Granny gave us. <laughs> Let's go. Guards, huh? I like this place already. Where the hell are we? Ooh, look at that shop shop. What you got here? Water, I'll take water. Ooh, look at that armor. Dialogue skills. Bro, that's nice. Look at this gold version, man. That's crazy. The hell happened here is like looks like they've been trying to capture things. Maybe make weird experiments. Ah It's a big snail man. Something shooting clear through that armor. Ooh, another uh, uh tactical shotgun. What the hell is that? I mean, it's like moving. Is that some sort of a generator or something? Out of my way. Boom! Hey, my babies. Let's go. Is that like, you know, pile of <laughs> 
smelly, nasty uh, items. <laughs> Ten thousand bits. You must be losing your mind. Oh, check this out. I found a full set. Six. Take everything. Ooh. What's that? Persuade plus five. <laughs> I might find use for it later. Make it some good looking. This place is huge, looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, some areas to. Whew! <clears throat> That's what you get if you go out of space, man. Tactical shotgun. Oh, look, there's someone alive. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What the hell happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. <laughs> Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. All right, man. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Helcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. <laughs> ah, I don't kill those things anymore. Any loot?
Looks like no more loot over here. Oh. I can't believe I was killing those guys before. They're so cute. Making that song sound. Unless if they don't attack me, that is. Oh crap, that, I just stole something. Seventeen bar. What do you think you're doing? What? How the hell did you see me? Whatever I want. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill. Damn it! Over the garage. I wonder how, how much did that cost me for stealing? He was too far away. How the hell you saw me, man? Got some chickens. You're underestimating the importance of the ape back. Blankenship. She's okay. A monster. Hehe. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can make my guys just like, yo boys, gotcha. stand there, be on the lookout. I forgot that I got full control over these dudes. <laughs> Ooh. Why is my... Lock picking so high. Oh, because they both have lock picking. Coming your way. Break down. I'm keeping those shotguns. All right, what do you have? Um, what can I sell? Man, I don't have a lot of money. That kind of sucks. Guy here. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. Hello, but Dr. Vaughn Cortez. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back. To work. 
Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. <laughs> I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Extracting how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Next Another quest for me. Oh it should no. have been running this whole time. Just this grab the results the and quest. bring them here. Great. Uh, no, really I, another quest out. added. How do you feel about stuff you? Do you drink it or is it like for you? I, I'm not interested. Just curious. Was that supposed to be the living quarters? It seemed about as livable as a coffin. Mm -hmm. That leads to the exit, and I believe that leads not to the exit. There must be. A Away inside, so talk to someone. Hello. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. What are you talking about? <laughs> Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carbon thing, you know, it doesn't really matter. Of course, it's for you. Just put it. Uh, a core. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. I. Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. No, uh, well, yes, well, uh, no, uh, perhaps. Make up your mind. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? No. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Weird guy. So clever. Hey, hey. Thank you. And I guess that would be the last spot I need to visit. Man, this place is loaded with quests and stuff. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? No. <laughs> yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. 
One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. Legal. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over, regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Okay. <laughs> Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. <clears throat> We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. That's a lot of quests I got in this location. In the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. <laughs> How can you forget someone? That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. <laughs> Just keep telling yourself that. Okay. Um. Wow. We got a whole bunch of quests. I don't know about Doctor Crane's research, but we ought to find Mister Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared. Oh yeah, so it looks like I'll need to do a whole bunch of these quests straight up. Let's do that real quick. Think we'll find any freakish experiments locked Actually, in? I'm gonna break this quest into a couple of parts. So this we're gonna do in the next episode.
I'm going to collab everything with the distress signal. So it's going to go ep like distress signal part one, distress signal part two, distress signal part three, and so on until we complete all of this damn quest. <laughs> so yeah, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you didn't, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So you all have a good Monday night, whatever you guys lock it in. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.